short spring to the adjuster. That one popped out. I did, and I keep doing it. See how this what? is sideways? Well, that's what I was asking earlier. This oh. is sideways. But that still doesn't explain why there's no gap in, on this one, but there's a, a gap we see on, on the side here. The thickness? Yeah, this is moving back and forth when you're doing that twisting. So if I change it, this is wider here? Not, well, no it'll, no, it'll just change. It'll be in the same position yeah, as this one, but why is this? This isn't mismachined. Which one's right? This one must be right because yeah. it's got no slop in it. This has got an eight inch slop. But now they're oriented the same, but we still have that peculiar gap. Yeah, it works fine now. Yeah. That's what I did last time. Because I don't know how that affected it, but I, well, it, okay. and I, that works. Okay. Okay. In the glove box of the, huh. Yeah, these things happen. Yeah, they do happen. You can put this on YouTube. They don't have one. Valve adjustment's very simple. You bring it up to top dead center on the compression stroke and set them at six on the intake, eight on the exhaust, and if you don't know what that means, you probably shouldn't own, drive, or service a motorcycle. <laughs> With a single Makuni. Rocker boxes were loose, so we're tightening up the rocker boxes. Kicks, you're not, you don't have an electric start? No. No electric start. Do that, that gets gasoline all over everything when you tickle it. So you just got to clean it off, huh? Yeah. It's just part of the deal. Alright. Right. You start it with your thongs. Yeah. Tevis.